Um, so my name is Stella. I am originally from Kenya and uh, I moved to Fort St. John just over two years ago. My name is Reinhold Steinbeiser. I was born in Munich, West Germany and I've been in North America 49 years. Oh, my name is Ikranal Singh Sidhu. I'm uh, from India. I'm born in Punjab, state of Punjab. My name is Azucena Furman now. People here in Canada call me Susie because it's so difficult for them to pronounce it. Hey, my name is Gloria Morgan. My Indian name, my Shishwa name is Yoyat Af Chacha Tlapunt. My name is Shannon McPhail and I live in Kispiox Valley. Well, my family actually has five generations here. Well, my name is Jacob Beaton. My dad is uh, Scottish, Irish, and Welsh. And my mom is English, Timshan, Heltuk, and Haida. It's a bit of a mix. I'm Lena Horswell. I was born in Malaysia. When I arrived in Nelson, I was uh, uh, really surprised because I think I was uh, the only brown face in town kind of thing. And I, I was sure that I was going to just hate this place. But you know, it's been the, totally the opposite in that the community was very welcoming, and um, also people are very progressive, and you know, my family just fit in perfectly. My name is Hilda Willemsen. I'm 92. I drove to New Zealand, Australia, and Canada, and Canada answered right away, so we went to Canada. My name is uh, Don Kasaka. My grandfather, he was uh, born in Japan. We're, we're a third generation fisherman. I'd never been around a place where there were totem poles and where there was um, culture to that extent that was thousands of years old. I mean, here you're dealing with 10,000 years of culture. My father was a chief and his father was a chief. Then the war broke up, so we had to evacuate, you know. Our family went to Little Lake and uh, spent seven years there. Because when you move from another country, it's pretty tough. It's really a hard, hard work. There was a, a time, for sure, where I got picked on for being uh, native by the white kid, and I got picked on for being white by the native kids. Well, multiculturalism, I mean, I think, I think the definition is changing. So the pioneers, without the help of the Gitan people, they never, they wouldn't have survived. I was born in Cambodia, and then when the Pon Pot took over, we got kicked out of the country. So we walked to Vietnam. It took us about 28 days. So we come from Indonesia to uh, Burn Lake, I think, 30 years ago. It's not easy to move from one country to another, and especially you don't speak the language. I, I miss the I miss the Finnish language. That uh, every chance I get when I see one of the Finns <laughs> that can speak, I speak in Finn. The culture that you come from is really the foundation of your life. If you don't have that, then you're always kind of floating. As, as your language skill builds, then your confidence builds as well, and people build it in you. There is something more about Mexico. It's about families, about culture, it's about food. And, uh, and, and that's the part that I would like to show. And I think me as an individual, I've grown so much being outside my own culture. Like my roommate in Vancouver was a Korean. And we had so much in common, it was weird, we're from different parts of the world. The funnest part about Ukrainian dancing are the people and like the culture. It's just, I'm not Ukrainian at all, but everything's just wrapped me up. I wish I was Ukrainian. One thing I always say, if someone says something about your culture, it's a probably have not enough knowledge about it. We all need a place to live and food and people that care for us. Even though we're all immigrants, we all have different stories and just knowing people's stories helps a lot. I feel like I've, been, I've learned a lot from the Canadian culture because there's so much to learn from each other and just the beauty of realizing you're not alone in the world is lots of people, so that's been great. It's it's experiencing other people's lifestyles and their stories and, and actually taking pride in the fact that you have differences and, and appreciating those differences. And we are we're just so happy that we're here. You know, we get to sleep well at night. We don't have to worry about people knocking our door. And I wouldn't change for anything else in the world. Now I, I just love Canada. I'm home, you know? As we kind of mature as a country, it, 
I think it, I'm multiculturalism, you know, as, as a person. And I've met people who are far more multicultural than I am, you know, uh, and I think that's really cool. Like, what a gift that we have to be able to be connected to so many different places. Uh, I, think it, I think it enriches us, you know, as a country and, and as people. Here, it doesn't matter. You can do anything. You can do anything you want.